Hey everyone and welcome to another round of Let's Play Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game. Last time we stopped here and now we're going to fight Negative Scott doing the repos. You can also play as Negative Scott to finish the game with all four of the main characters, well all four of the characters available to you at the start. Ow! I haven't unlocked him yet because as I said at the start of this game I haven't finished it with Ramona yet. I don't know why, I'm just terrible at playing with her. Achoo! Cursing is cold in mine. What a terrible night to have a cold. Ah, stop it! Oh god! Ah, Hadouken! Oh, evil Hadouken. Was that be, would that be Hadouken backwards if you put Hadouken with a goatee? I'm not sure how evil works anymore. It's a bit funny because Scott doesn't have like a negative, like one of those sorts of attacks. His bonus attack is he just sort of like, flying mantis claws forward. Damn it Greg, so I've tried to block what can't be blocked. That's very silly of you. Ah, there we go. Finished. I know I keep saying kicks are for wusses and I've killed two bosses with kicks now, but I stand by it. Kicks are for women. It's only real men need to punch with the piss of anium. Yay, warp pipe. Okay, so let's see, we defeated six of the evil boyfriends, pretty much representing the seven carnal sins. We also defeated your negative side, whereas in the comic you embraced it to realize that you have faults too, which you have to overcome. So this sort of does away with that message. You're, you're not listening to me, are you? But fine, we'll go beat up Gideon Graves and maybe I'll sign us to a record deal. I don't care anymore. Mr. Chow come back, we've already beaten Mr. Chow. I don't even need to fight you. Alright, now for the final, well that's a perfect representation. Mr. Chow just appears at random, but I've already got him, so I don't know why he would appear again. Well, let's go fight. I already have you. There you go, just in case other Let's Players don't catch it, here it is, the fight against Mr. Chow. With quite an awesome background and theme. In fact, most everything in this game has a friggin' awesome theme. I can't lie, the people who did the soundtrack did phenomenal. Ah! Work! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Come on, man! I didn't even date your daughter! But it would be cool! I mean, hell! I get the whole protecting your kids thing! Come on, man! You. Oh! That was close to Ganium. Your sword of titanium is no match for my fist of every Ganium! Come on! Come on! Iradium! I got that pa packed in here. You notice I have zero health, but because my guts meter is still full, I can survive a bit longer. Whenever you're incapacitated, your guts meter gets cut down to half, and ooh, shice That was a close one. I don't even know what I said there. I think I was saying shice, and then I changed my mind. <laughs> Come on, up. I'm not done yet. Oh god, oh god, we're almost done, do I admit, Mr. Chow? Oh damn! Yee! <laughs> Woohoo! That was close! Let's not do that again! Ah, there you go! That's Mr. Chow defeated. You get no money, but you can now summon him when you press L1 instead of his daughter. You usually hit L1 in a directional button and she pops and he pops up. But that's there you get Mr. Chow. <laughs> Yay, 103 XP, let's go. Bye, Blowy Field. 
Alright, now to the final level, the Chaos Theater. Now, for all the things I say I hate about Scott Pilgrim, I love that motherfucker right there. Gideon Graves is epic. I don't believe I just said that. I'm prepared for whatever you throw at me, Chaos Theater. Now, I'm most assuredly gonna die. Very soon and have to replay this level over. Uh, level over. I'm just warning you, you're gonna see this level twice. This part of the level, because this is a long, long ass level. Jerk! Jerk! Hi! Yeah! It would make sense to die right here, then we could just, you know, pick up from there, but you know, I don't play that way, Bill. Oh, but I'm gonna have to now. And I died. But we are going to continue, which means we get three lives back, and well, this the entire rest of this let, let's play I've played with one life, so. Yeah, we should be good. I won that one up. But you know what I'm saying. We're almost at the end of the game anyway, so just fight what they throw at us. With my fists of aniums! <coughs> Something I do love is that the enemies can't fall off the edge themselves. Well, I'm easy to do, I don't imagine I'll do it quite as much hard. So anyway, what you gotta do, break, you've got a time limit, break all these things so the elevator can move to the next floor. After you pass a few dozen floors, then the elevator moves on. See, he walked off the elevator without any prompting from me. So did he, actually. I'm gonna just toss him off to be annoying. His symmetry was off. I'm very deaf about cinema. I was trying to make a reference to some anime to prove I was a massive nerd and had very little social interaction, but I forgot which deaf I cared that was it. Very hem about symmetry, which none of you have. Special you, Dean, which is why you're dead now. Oh, you're dead. Up you get. Punch. There goes Mike. Bye, Mike. I've been up everyone, because I'm Steven Stills and I have no time for the bullshit. Ooh, he's not- Ooh, he went off the ceiling and came back! Idiom burst! There. That's what you learn, yeah. There is a shop at this level, but it's just before the final, final section of the final boss, so it's- It's a bit of a trek to go, but once you get to like the higher levels, well, the higher stats, then it's sort of easy. Especially on the easier difficulty. There we go. Oh, for Christ's sake, die! Why won't you die, Indiana? Oh, I'm dead man. of idiom are pissed! No, I don't know, I don't know, the fists of idiom are now depressed and very painful. Ah! People are giving me gingivitis. Oh, there they are, I was wondering when that was. I think the balls, the big steel balls, are the second last one. So after this, it should just be one more, and then we get to leave. Yerk! Push him off! There we go. Pick me up a stun baton, or stun baton, as they say in French. Ha ha ha, baton. Now, 
myself with. I glitched sliding. Alright, not close. Now we descend into the final level of the Chaos Theatre. That's why I kept that, you don't want to get glass in your knuckles, it's horrible. Hey, it's everyone I've met. And it's Gideon Graves, that scrawny little pip school. Yeah. This just became auspiciously harder. I don't remember this happening in the comic. I get it, you're the final boss. You gotta put up a bit of a challenge, huh? Fine. Which is why I'm gonna pretend to talk like Travis motherfucking touchdown when I beat the shit out of you. Oh, oh, oh. I think I killed him. Oh god, meat ears. Damn it, 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 damn it. I just gave you your ass for a record deal, man! Will you treat all your clientele? Is this the clientele test? Survive my meteor swarm and you can be. Ah! If he does that, he's invincible, as is the villain charter of rainbow wear. If you if you wear a rainbow, you're invincible while you wear that rainbow. You know. Standard procedure bell and stuff. All of you should know it. If you don't, I'm very disappointed in you. Oh, he's invincible again. Roll, 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 Steven Stills. Roll for your life! Oh god, don't roll. Punch dead. Haha, you're no match for me because I'm Steven Stills. Punch out. I love those little punch, they're just like there. Look, he's even doing my muscular walk! God damn you, final boss! No one takes my muscular walk away from me! How? Oh, quit it. It's my muscular walk. And of all these various characters from the book and various references to other people standing around, I'm pretty sure that guy with the blue hair is a reference to something, because there's no way nobody dresses like that. <coughs> oh, damn you, sore throat. Don't kill me now. Yeah, there we go. And I've beaten the final boss and all is well! Let's go get frosted chocolate milk shit! Uh... Oh. oh my god, this is horrible. I'm inside a guy's chest cavity and his friggin' eyes in the background and we're gonna have to stop the video here. Damn you, Satan!